Hey guys, to turn on Play Hat Shadow, all we need to do is to come to View and in the menu select Show Play Hat Shadow. Now the shadow itself, not only is it making it easy to locate the playhead itself because it's making it more visible, um, but also it can be a great measuring tool to guide our operations, which we're going to see some examples later on. Now by default, the shadow itself shows us five frames before and after the playhead. But we can very easily change this by going to the preferences menu and then in the menu under editing user, locate pre and post playhead shadow length and then enter any number of frames that you like. So once we make the change, then all we need to do is to hit the save button. And now you're going to see that the playhead shadow is going to adjust based on the changes that we just made in the preferences menu. So there are a lot of things we can do with this feature. One example is to use the playhead shadow as a guide when we trim our video clips. Uh, and we can be confident that we are trimming our videos by the exact number of frames. Another example is to use the play high shadow as a guide when we cut video clips. And especially when we cut at the shadow location, we can be very confident the number of frames that we're cutting uh, relative to the playhead or the other side of the shadow. We can also use playhead shadow for video transitions. So once we bring the transition into the timeline, then we can very quickly align the transition to the shadow length, knowing that this is exact number of frames for our video transition. Very similarly, we can use this for adjustment clip as well. Uh, we can quickly align our adjustment clip to the shadow length and knowing that this is exact number of frames for our adjustment clip. So guys, I hope this quick tip tutorial helps and I will see you next time.